Hello, I'm Allison Butterell, the Product Manager for IBM i. I'm very excited to be able to take this opportunity to tell you about the latest set of enhancements for the IBM i operating system, delivered as Technology Refresh 6. In the past, IBM has delivered new features and functions of the IBM i operating system in a new release approximately every two years. In 2006, we announced version 5, release 4. In 2008, 6.1. And in 2010, 7.1 was announced and available. At the time of the 7.1 announcement, heeding the request of our, of our customers, partners, and our application providers, we also announced a change to our operating system delivery schedule. We have moved from the regular two-year cadence to a slightly longer time frame between full releases. At the same time, we did not want to slow down the delivery of technology to our clients. So using the idea of a technology refresh, we are able to add new features and functions to the underlying operating system release without requiring a full new release. Some of the additional functionality has included things like new virtualization support, live partition mobility, as well as additional mobile application support. This latest refresh, Technology Refresh 6, is also delivering significant function. So what's in Technology Refresh 6 that I'm so excited about? Well, first of all, from the beginning of our discussions about delivering function with technology refreshes, the database team made a commitment that they would deliver additional function in each new technology refresh. And this one's no different. So in Technology Refresh 6, the database team is delivering additional SQL features and functions. They've improved the performance of some of our database commands, and they've also helped to improve the manageability of the data center with the iNavigator enhancements. Secondly, we are supporting the latest hardware that's just been announced from IBM. So this hardware is now built on the Power 7 Plus chip technology and provides a new level of price performance. We're also supporting the USB attached flash drives. Flash drives have been around for a while in the industry and now you can plug them into your IBM i system and use them for things like data copying and data transfer. We have a number of new mobile solutions that I'm excited about as well, things that our customers have been asking us for for some time. The first is IBM's mobile database support. This comes from IBM Software Group and is a product that works against DB2-4i downloading data to an Android handheld device. Secondly, we have new products from Zend, the PHP company, as you know, our IBM i customers are entitled to get the latest copies of Zen Server. So Zen Server 6 now supports the attachment of mobile devices to the PHP application running on IBM i. And lastly, we have a statement of direction from our Lotus team that they will provide traveler and connections available on i running natively. We also have a change or an enhancement in our security system. We're providing the latest industry standards in the transport services layer technology. This is the technology which provides communication security for internet applications such as web browsing or email. PowerHA System Mirror for i has enhanced their support for external storage devices, providing a more cost-effective option supporting the V7000, the V3700, and the V3500. And last of our highlights is Systems Director now has the capability of doing error detection and reporting, and the IBM i operating system participates in that. So as you're monitoring errors in your entire data center, IBM i can report errors to System Director and have those managed sent back to IBM. So that's a summary of the highlights. There are certainly more things that have been added, and I would encourage you to go and look for more information. Where do you get more information about Technology Refresh 6? Well, the first place I would go is IBM Developer Works. Our IBM i development team has actually dedicated an entire site specifically covering all of the functions we continue to add through technology refreshes. 
and I've put that link on this page so that you're able to get there directly. The second place is really to go and read some of the blog entries from our IBMI bloggers. Steve, Dawn, Mike, and Tim are all set to share some of the information about specific features in their blog entries. And again, I've put their links on this page. I encourage you to go and read them. Finally, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to the recording today where we've covered the highlights of IBM i 7.1 Technology Refresh 6. Thank you.